Um, I mean, it's tough. Um, losing in any form or fashion is not fun whatsoever, uh, especially like that. But um, I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of positives to take from it. There's a lot of negatives. I mean, like any game, really, is, and we just got to look at it as a process. Uh, in the process, results don't always go the way we want them to, but uh, we get ready to have another chance to go back out there and uh, you know get back on the winning side. All right, little disappointment, of course, from Darren Waller, but the Chiefs didn't seem to have an answer for number 83, who found the end zone early in the fourth quarter. Marcel, as we take a look at his performance tonight, what did you see out of number 83 that you liked? Everything. Yeah. He just does everything <laughs> for us on the field. And it's easy to point out when he catches the ball and when he does with Ooh. the ball in his hands after he catches the ball, the mm -hmm. yak, the high point ball. But what I'm really impressed about Darren Waller, when you start having success in the passing game, you sort of forget about everything else. Mm -hmm. You forget about the run game, the pass protection, but he doesn't. He does everything for this team on the offensive end of the ball. He's yeah. blocking at the at the line of scrimmage. He's blocking. He, he for blocked on that car run. You Absolutely. saw him. You saw. Yeah. yeah. And that's and that's what's fun to see. You see this athletic playmaker doing everything for your team everything. in the blocking game as well. Yeah, explosive player, and there's not a guy on their roster who can cover him when they yes. came in. Yes. And there's still not a guy on their roster who can cover this guy. I mean, yep. he's a tremendous player. He's really to emerge into that top tight end in the league. And when a guy who's the top, Kelsey, comes into your building, you got to continue to show him who's the next guy in line. Oh, it's the game within the game. Exactly. EA. Oh, yeah. You know what routes he's running. You know how many catches he have. Yes. And you want to make sure you put your stamp on it. Like, hey, I'm right here. No one can cover me. And when the ball comes my way, I'm going to show up time and time again. Yes. Just so uh, he has just so many aspects of his game. He can line up wide, he can line up inside, mm -hmm. he can go in motion, just so many things. In the red zone, he's a beast because he's just so athletic. So again, it's the next phase of it's, that great tight end position, and we have him here in Las Vegas. It's fun to watch him just how he operates on the field as we see the comparison of, of Kelsey and Waller right now. But it's fun to see him as he operates and how he carries himself around the field. I, I, I know that you, I've been there where you feel like, listen, no matter who lines up against me, I got him. <laughs> if he's smaller than me, I'm bigger than him, and I'm boxing him out and playing basketball on grass. If he's bigger than me, I'm going to run right by him and make him feel like a little boy. It doesn't yeah. matter what it is, whoever lines up against me I have them it's just that that just elite mentality where you just feel superior confidence against anyone on this the is, field this is a great point because in the course of a career you want to get to that point where you are the man and yes. you feel like yes. when you walk on the football field there's nothing anyone can do I have control of whatever happens on this football field not everyone gets that yeah. There's you speak it from experience, EA. Yeah. <laughs> you speak from experience. Thousands of players play this game, but only a few are able to walk on the field and kind of dictate that tempo. Interesting. Yes. And I feel like we'll be watching the oh. Waller versus Kelsey going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, you know, because it's interesting that you mention it, EA, that when you know someone like a Kelsey yeah. is coming into your building, you pay extra attention to you what sure they do. might be doing. Interesting. EA, right. who, who is that DB for you? Uh, it was Prime. Okay. Yeah, whenever me and Prime matched up. I know, like I had that. To, yeah, I had to get the best of it. You hear him, Prime. <laughs> well, That's my guy, too. And it is extra impressive because, like you mentioned, Waller is blocking on the edge. And when you have Incognito not available, when yeah. you don't have Brown available, oh, man. you imagine that the Raiders are trying to find different ways to move the ball forward when you're missing some key guys up front. Yeah, for sure. And we're, we're a power running football team. Yes. They're a finesse team. So they're going to have Kelsey in more situations where he's flexed out. He's a pass first guy. Again, he's getting Waller's getting all these catches and we're a running football team. Yes. So again, once those guys get back, those linemen get back, watch out. It's one of those reasons why Jason Witten was a, as an as was an important mm. signee for us as a team to help Darren Waller become that imposing run blocker and pass protector for DC as well. When you're playing uh, in a Tom Cable design run game and run scheme, you know you're going to have those hard-nosed plays where you just got to run through someone's face mask as a blocker. But as a playmaker, you want to make sure that you stay on the field because if you mm -hmm. can't do it, Cable's getting you off the field. And he has transformed his game into being that all-around tight end that is irreplaceable and has to be on the field for all four downs.